Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm mainly doing this for one person because I believe he's got the tool it's just missing. But while I'm at it, I thought I'd share. He thought he had X18, or he thought he had 18, and he actually has 17. Or It's kind of confusing. I actually started with Corel X3, and it's progress so x4 was for 14 x5 was for 15 x6 was for 16 x7 was for 17 but then they went to x8 which was 18 but then they started doing it by the year and made it 2019 parentheses or 2017 parentheses 19 so it's the 19th version but it's actually called 17 and then there was 2018 2019 which i have and I've looked at 2020, I just haven't gotten it yet or figured out if I even want it. So it's kind of strange that X8 is below X or 2017. 2017 is the newest version. But anyway, if you're ever missing a tool on your toolbar over here, and if you'll see, he said he's missing the um, smoothing tool. Well, you can turn those tools on and off by this check mark right here. And right here, I turned it off purposely so I wouldn't have it. You know, like if you don't ever use some of these tools, you don't need them and you can turn them on and off. Uh, for instance, if you don't ever use uh, well, I'm just trying to think, you know, like the connector tool, you can turn that off It'll save you, and watch when I turn it off, it'll get rid of it and leave me some more space. And, you know, if you don't ever use a transparency tool, if you don't ever, I mean, these tools, they're very important. All of them are very important. As you can see, if you notice the Smart Fill tool is in two different spots, but I like it like that. So now we click out of that, and I have the Smooth tool back. And you can customize and reset it. And I think if you go to tools and save as default, it'll save it for the next time that you'll have that tool. But you probably do have the tool, it's just turned off. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.